All right, well, I've had a bunch of requests recently to look at another Nerdle, because I haven't done one of these for a little while. So um, this is like Wordle, but it's with numbers and math, and so you have to come up with an equation. Um, otherwise, it works pretty much the same. We just guess an equation, and it's going to tell us if the, the numbers and the operations are in the correct spots or in the wrong spots or not in the answer at all. Um, I think 12 plus... 35 equals 47 is pretty good. It gets, oop, I didn't get the equal sign in there. Let's try that again. There we go. Uh, it gets a bunch of, you know, unique numbers. And um, I, I tend to like using the smaller numbers because I think it eliminates, it limits your options a lot when you don't have very many smaller numbers, so. Okay, so the three, the equals, and the seven are in the answer, but not in those spots. The one, two, four, and five are not in the answer. There's no addition. So, we're probably, I mean, we could be doing, you know, an equals a single digit, but it feels like it's more likely to equal a three digit number, potentially, although there's no one or two, so you'd have to be at least 300, but we could do like, you know, 376 or something, I don't know, we could do lots of things. Uh, now, if we're not doing addition, we'd have to be doing multiplication. So, and, and the numbers have to be at least, so we've got three and seven, otherwise it's gotta be six, eight, and six, eight, or nine. We do have a zero, but. So interestingly, if we do 30 something and multiply, right? Even if you do a nine, you're barely getting into the 300s there because 30 times nine is 270. So you would get into the 300s, but but if it's not 30 something, then you've got to have at least 60 or more, in which case you're going to be well over 300, but you need to get into at least the 600s. And I mean, even, even if you did 69 times nine, you know, maximize these other numbers, you're not getting high enough and you'd have to be at least 630 and that's not going to work. So. I don't think, I think, I mean, you could maybe do 30 something and get 300 and something, which isn't terrible. Um, oh, interestingly, 37 times nine is 333, which in some ways isn't so bad because it does check. I mean, we're, we have a really good chance of finding the three at that point. I may have to go for that, why not? Enter. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it wasn't working. All right, so probably we're doing equals a single digit then. But we are doing multiplication, so we probably need to either then subtract or divide if we're going to end up with a single digit. And we still didn't find the three. Ugh. But there is only one three. There's only one three. So we didn't find the seven. We didn't find the three. There's only one three. There's not a nine. So it's three, six, seven, and eight are the only numbers we have. Okay, so what if we do something times, uh, let's see, there we go, times three, and then subtract, we could do that, we could subtract the two digits, so we could do like, you know, eight times three, which is 24, but the problem is, oh right, because we're going for a single digit, so yeah, so we don't want to get too big, so maybe even six times three, which is 18, and then we could subtract, oh, but we need, oh, right, 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 right. So if we're subtracting a two digit, then the two digit number has to be at least 30 though. Right, so maybe six times seven, which is 42, and then we subtract 30 something. That would work, that would work. We could subtract 30, Mm, but we need to end up with at least six for our answer. So 42 minus 30 something, it needs to be at least six, which means this has to be less than 36. Minus 36 equals six. I mean, that's possible. Because if we do six times eight, we're at 48. And now we've got to subtract at least nine in order to get just down to into the 30s and we can't use nine. So yeah, six times seven minus 36, I think that works. 
Let's go with that. Is that the answer? Hey, all right, there we go. Went from no greens to all greens, okay. Very nice. Okay, well, cool, so, uh, took a little bit of thinking. I can't believe we guessed all those threes and none of them were right, but sometimes that's the way it goes. But the good thing was it limited it so much and getting rid of these smaller numbers really limits your possibilities a lot of times, seems like. So anyways, let me know if you do Nerdle on a regular basis um, and if you did today's Nerdle, how it went for you and how many guesses it took you. And be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Got a rotten string of bad luck ahead of me now. That is if you believe in any of these various superstitions. Oh, okay. Well, that was really good on the left. Awesome. Ballet over here. Okay, it is L and T, just like I was thinking. Now, alf alphabet. Alphabet. There we go, that's a good one. <laughs>